Hi guys, here's Otto from Motorize It. And today we'll be looking at the Tilt and Lift 25 RTS motor from Somfy, which is this very small motor. And it's used to automate um, Venetian blinds with a head rail of about 25 by 25 millimeters. So the very small ones, as you can see here. Now, before we get into a few technical details and things you need to keep in mind, um, let's look at what's so special about this motor. Um, first of all, it allows you to um, make your blind um, roll down and roll up completely, so you can uh, you can lower it automatically. Um, but also, it allows you to change um, the angle of the uh, the slats, so you can adjust that as well. So two functions: rolling in and rolling out, and changing the angle. Um, so that that makes it very interesting. What's also interesting is that it's RTS, so it's remote controlled. So any RTS remote control can be um, linked to this motor. So you can use a regular remote control, uh, similar to what we have here, the Telus 4 RTS, which allows you to just basically lower it and raise it. Um, but you can also automate it with a timer. So a Cronus Smart RTS, for example, will allow you to, to time um, when it goes up and down. Um, and the third function is the, uh, uh, the automatic operation via sensors. So if you have a, um, a sun sensor, for example, it allows you to automatically lower it when the sunlight gets too bright. Um, so those are the three functions you can, uh, you can basically get from, uh, from the motor. And it's all integrated, so there's no additional parts that you need to receive the uh, RTS radio signal. Now, third special part is that it's it's not it's not directly connected to mains power. It's a battery operated motor, um, or you can use an adapter. That, that's one one way to connect it directly to mains. Um, but there are a few options then to uh, to provide it with uh, with the necessary power, which is first of all a battery tube, which can be um, um, used with rechargeable batteries. You need ten of them. Um, and it allows you to connect it directly to the motor. Clips are included with, with the tube, so you can place it somewhere close to the motor itself. Um, so that's one option to, um, um, to use the motor with. Um, it's also uh, something that, that will last for a long time, so it's not something that uh, the tube will not be empty um, or without power within a few operations. You can actually use it for months. Um, so um, you can use it frequently and not run out of power. So you, can, um, you only have to recharge it uh, every once in a while, uh, depending of course on how frequently you use um, the motor itself. Now if you don't want to use um, um, the battery pack, you can also use it in a combination with a solar panel that will charge the battery pack uh, automatically, so you don't need an additional charger um, and charge it yourself. This will automatically uh, charge it anytime there's enough sunlight. So that's another option. Um, or you can use this and connect it directly to mains. Um, that's another option. So um, three, three ways to, uh, to power your motor. Um, so that gives you a lot of opportunities to, uh, to make it um, as easy to install as possible. Now a few other things you need to keep in mind is that um, of course the motor has to be connected to the shaft, but the shaft also needs to roll up the wires that we have. Um, and that means that you have to replace two parts, which are shown here. Um, because this is basically the roll-up system um, that you need to, to place, that we can provide, and that connects the wires to the motor. Um, as you can see here, these are the ones that are connected to the slats, and this is basically the wire that's used to, to pull up all the slats, and that is run through this part here, and then connected. And these parts are provided with the motor as well, um, so you have all the pieces you need to, uh, to automate your Venetian blind. Now if you have any questions about it, um, technical details, the way it's done, let me know. The email address is info at motorized.it um, or you can leave a comment below the video. Thank you and see you next time.